Good evening, everyone. I'm Jared Waitley. Thank you for joining us on AFL 360. And I'm here with Hawks great Dermot Burton as we discuss the fallout from the rumour that was. Derm, Nat Fife heading to St Kilda next year was the claim. It was a pretty bold accusation made by Brad Fitzgerald on Perth Radio when he announced that a couple of weeks back. What were your thoughts? Um, if you're asking me, I think it was merely a case of Fitzy hearing something he may have misinterpreted and got a little bit excited about. There is a fine line between what is said to an individual and the process that actually follows to support what is said. So you're suggesting, Derm, that if there was anyone on the board at St Kilda who spoke to Fitzgerald, that it would have just been said lightheartedly? Yeah, yeah. And look at a guess. It's probably not the first time we've seen something like this happen before. I'm sure someone at a footy club has had an acquaintance in the media and just went a little bit far with what they've said. Whether the person in the media then runs with what is said is based purely on their credentials. They then have to ask themselves, is the information I've been given sufficient enough to print a story about? If so, what are the facts? Can I potentially hypothesise my way around this? Or am I just going to create a rumour and say, Joe Blow told me this with absolutely no supportive evidence at all, and while I'm at it, I won't just tell my mates, I'm a public figure. I might say it on radio as well. Well, no doubt the speculation has angered Fremantle as well as the board at St Kilda. But let's get the thoughts of Fremantle coach Ross Lyon. He joins us now. Ross, thank you for joining us. And what have your thoughts been on this whole situation? Oh, look, I think it's been built up for more than what it is, to tell you the truth. I mean, there's no silver bullet here. So it's certainly been a case of hyperbole and, of course, wishful thinking as well. But I thought it was a bit ironic that he mentioned St Kilda, given my history at the club. But, yeah, we're certainly disappointed by the accusations, clearly. Ross, it's Dermy here. Uh, Just a hypothetical. If you were to lose Nat come season end, what do you consider to be the structural ramifications of your football club? Does the configuration of your team change dramatically, or is it just a case of reassessing the dynamics in the midfield and saying, right, we've got A, B, C and possibly D running through the centre of the ground, we've lost our X factor, but we can manage our ball use by creating space, kicking it out to the fat side of the ground and having the wingers set up the forward press to ensure the forwards are getting maximum supply. Well, Demi, I'm not too sure what you're alluding to. Is that a question or a statement? Because I'm really confused. No, 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 no. It's just a question of what the backup plan would be if Nat did decide to go at season end. We hope the your sake he stays, but it was just a question of whether the midfield setup would shift to the point whereby your forwards would need to be retrained because the delivery into the forward line would be different. Oh, look, first and foremost, I like to think that we're more than just one player, Dan. I mean, it's not the 80s, it's not the Dermy show, it's not the Nat 5 show of the noughties. <laughs> I'm actually glad you said that, Russ, because I was going to say that I was pretty good. Well, I thought you might, Derm. That's why I said it. I mean, don't get me wrong, I think we all like to stroke our egos from time to time. But in answer to your question, we're more than a basketball team, aren't we? I mean, it's not a case where one superstar rules the roost, so I think we just need a bit more credit. Our playing group is very resilient, and if a player comes out, then we replace them accordingly. But as far as we're concerned, Nathan's our captain, and he's committed to our football club. Ross, have you spoken to Nathan about his contract and where he sees himself next year? Is that something he would confide in you about, being his coach? Well, clearly that's an obvious question with an obvious answer, Jared. I mean, not at all. I'm paid to coach, aren't I? I'll let the suits deal with the paperwork, but as far as Nat and I go, the only thing we're going to be talking about is executing our structures and ensuring we get the four points come this weekend. So I think we'll just leave it at that. No worries, Ross. Well, thank you for joining us. Derm, we'll leave it there. Last question, do you think Fife is staying or going next year? It's a good question. It's not an easy question. It's a question that deserves an answer. 
and one that we will have better knowledge of later in the season. So, still on the fence, I take it. Um, I think I'm the same. It'll be the ongoing story of the season, one would think. Thanks for joining us on the program tonight. Hope you've enjoyed it. We'll look forward to your company again next time.